Welcome back. Have you ever wondered what happened to bank checking and deposit accounts when people die? Is it even a big concern for heirs? Certified financial planner Paul Fain joins us again with four steps to get your accounts in order before your final day. Paul, thank you for being here. A little morbid here, but we're yeah. trying to take a positive yeah, we'll spin on today it. On, we'll start the day <laughs> on a morbid note. Well, I, I just had a, a, a friend's family uh, go through an, an episode where this became a very current and relevant topic. Ah. So this is not uncommon to, to have a death in the family and you find out that you know, one or more accounts are frozen and you can't get access. So hmm. what does it mean? It usually comes down to the, how the account is titled, how it is owned. So for example, if it's an individually owned account, then at death the account is frozen and typically, with or without a will, you go to the probate court, the probate names an executor, the executor then has access two weeks or a month later to the account. Um, some folks put payable on death, POD, on their bank accounts. And that's like a beneficiary designation on an insurance or retirement account. So at your death, the beneficiary presents a death certificate and identification and takes over the account. Hmm. Um, some folks say, well, I have power of attorney. Well, unfortunately, a power of attorney, which authorizes another person to, for example, you know, pay bills out of your account, it, it ceases at the death of the uh, person that granted the power of attorney. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. And then finally, joint tenancy with rights of survi survivorships, what a lot of us are, are, are familiar with when you buy a home or you open a, a joint checking account with a spouse, for example, that survives death and it's business as usual. Okay, interesting stuff. And um, I know that uh, really uh, when you think about this type of thing, you really want to make sure you want to notify the bank here. I mean, that's, that's really yes. the biggest thing. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes folks uh, get a little cattywampus when they think about that. But mm -hmm. someone dies and they think, well, I need to, you know, write checks to pay bills. But you have to be really careful. You, you could very easily cross over into fraud. So don't ever you know, forge a signature on a family member's account because you're paying a bill. Um, you want to notif notify the bank pretty promptly, especially if other people in the family or friends, uh, caretakers have check writing authority or have a debit card and can go to an ATM. I'm not saying anybody would you know, be guilty of malfeasance, but you want to reduce that possibility. Well, you don't want to do it accidentally, too. Yeah, I, well, exactly. You get yourself in trouble just mm -hmm. even though you have good intention. And, you know, typically a funeral home will notify Social Security, so that uh, you can check that box. That's really good. Yeah, you definitely want to let folks know. So, Paul, anything really quickly? We've got about 20 seconds you wanted to add. Well, you know, I think it's important to talk. Talk to your family members about, you know, what accounts they have, how they're titled, ownership, um, and, and who has access to those funds. A lot of times it's, it's, it's a good move just to simplify. You know, maybe you have a bank and a credit union and an online account. You know, simplify and, and share with your family members where those, where those accounts are. And, you know, the number one thing that most people need access for, uh, to money for is funeral expenses. So sometimes doing a prepaid funeral plan may make sense. And uh, again, your family doesn't have to worry about how to, how to pay for a funeral weeks after your death. Absolutely. Well, Paul, thanks so much. Good tips there for Hope things so. that inevitably happen. Inevitably. For sure. For yep. sure. All right, let's send it over to the Weather Center.